distractions are not going to go away next month or next year. And it sounds kind of corny, but you, know, you tell folks, you know, we don't hire you from the neck down. We hire you from the top of your head down. Everybody has to use the brain. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm a human being, right? So I get distracted with my family. I have four kids. Uh, I have a wife. Uh, so those sort of family pressures become a distraction. You know, personal stuff that everybody goes through, dealing with stuff at home or, and it's not all negative. It's just things that we think about. We are looking at the mental skill of communication. That is the idea or the ability of you being aware that you're talking to yourself. That's that first skill set. One simple idea we call regulating the chatter. Now you understand chatter, right? Chatter, all those words and mental pictures that are just flashing in your head all day long. And it is the skill of regulating that chatter that you engage, that you have as a craft on this project when you're at your best. Now we're going to look at the Navy SEALs brain training. This is some Awesome stuff. We are talking the best of the best. San Diego, they are simulating fear and panic. And the whole idea here is to enable more of our candidates to pass. They were, they were failing. So we had to look for a mental toughness program. And so what we're going to do is we, uh, in the craft, in our world, we are going to learn from the best. And some of those training techniques are what we're going to be demonstrating here today. And that specific one called self-talk. And we're going to take self-talk and we're going to quantify thoughts. We're going to look at just how much is going on. And then we're going to look at the ability or what you do when you're regulating your chatter and you're getting it back on point. That is a skill that we want to recognize. It's a tool that you have on your belt. It's time for a craft coaching moment here. We're going to look at the Navy SEALs. Again, self-talk is what we're talking about. We are quantifying thought. Now, I'm going to set this clip up. You are hearing it from some of the experts in brain training. Let's hear what they have to say. The third technique, self-talk, helps focus the trainee's thoughts. The average person speaks to themselves at a rate of 300 to 1,000 words a minute. Okay, stop right there. Let's quantify that. The science says that you and I, when we're going about our day here on this project, we have between 300 and 1,000 words or thoughts or what we call chatter every minute. Okay, let's conduct a little experiment here. If there are 300 thoughts in one minute, let's find out how many thoughts there are per second. So we divide 300, divide that by 60 seconds in a minute, and we get a total of five thoughts per second. Can you believe that? At any given time on your project here today, you're going to have at least five thoughts a second going on in that head of yours. That's chatter. Now let's go one more. A thousand thoughts every minute, and we divide that by 60, and we get upwards of 15 thoughts every second when you're amped up or when you've got a lot going on that's how much chatter is going on inside of our head every day you know you need to separate them right you need to try and put them put them in a different compartment and uh, you know think about them when you're addressing them at that time but when you're when you're in the work zone you need to you need to compartmentalize them and, and put them somewhere else which also helps you know circling back into the start cards and stuff because that kind of gets your it helps you with the conversations, get your mind in the game, and we have to keep our mind on the work, on what we have, because that's where the risk is at hand is. And you know, there's time for everything and everything in its time. If we have that mindset, then we're more conscious about what we're doing. We're out of our subconscious mind, in our conscious mind, looking at the hazards, looking what's gonna hurt us, helping each other, caring for our partners and our coworkers out on the, on the job site. Um, and conducting resets when things don't go accordingly. So I think, you know, from a, from a distraction standpoint, we're always going to have distractions. As leaders, as coworkers, as a family on Pennsylvania Chemicals, our challenge is to go out there and be able to get those distractions out of our minds and focus on the task that we're doing. Focus on the hazard and what's going to bite us in front of us. Um, and if we do that in the morning, if we do that throughout the day, then we'll be successful.